that we would cry out to him, looking to him to be our savior. Like the publican of old in Luke 18, that cried out to God for mercy, and God had mercy upon him. Of course, it was only God motivating him to do that, and God arresting that, and God fulfilled his will on him that he became saved. But nevertheless, that passage and many passages in the Bible encourage us to cry out to God for mercy, that God is a merciful God, that he is saving, that we can trust that he is saving today, and that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, as we read about in Romans 10, 17. I think this passage that we read in Matthew 24 and verse 30 is a great opportunity, a great reminder for us to look at ourselves, to examine ourselves, to see if we're in the faith. And that we might meditate upon his word, read the Bible this week, reflecting upon what God has said, asking God for mercy, and asking that we may be a blessing to others as well. Because we want to have a concern about our fellow man, too, that he a fellow human being, so he or she might be saved. Until our next study, for the Lord, which we bless. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Please join us again next time. We have prepared a book and study guide on salvation that we would love to send to you. Please write today to your free copy. Our address is Follow the Bible Ministry, P.O. Box 1332, Alameda, California, 94501. Our website is followthebibleministries.com. Email us at followthebibleministries at yahoo.com. Follow the Bible Ministries is entirely listener supported. The contributions of listeners like you enable us to continue broadcasting on this station. May the word of God dwell in you richly.